Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here, and today's question is, will my printer stop printing when a card goes empty? Well, it depends on the printer. We'll discuss that when we come back. Hello again, and welcome back. And if this is the first time you land on this channel, I am absolutely sure you are interested in producing beautiful photos such as these at home. So if that is the case, don't forget to click on that bell icon in the subscribe button on my channel so that you don't miss anything we upload. Now, this specific question was addressed about the PIXMA Pro 100 from Canon, clearly the most popular printer they have ever produced. But it also has something to do with other printers Epson's, for instance, they'll stop midway when you are out of ink, so to speak. In other words, the chip is declared that cartridge as empty. It'll just stop midpoint. You remove the cartridge, you pop a new one in, and it will continue to print seamlessly without any hint that the printer ever stopped printing at a specific spot. Beautiful. Now, can the Canon Pro 100 do that as well? Yes. It will do that as well. And people are very worried about the chip misrepresenting the ink levels. Let me tell you once again how this works, okay? There is no way, except maybe for the Pro 1000, for a printer of the category of the Pro 10, Pro 1, even the Pro 100, which you are talking about here, to actually measure actual droplets of ink it is going to estimate and that estimation is being sent to the chip and the chip will begin to drop in increments when the liquid ink chamber which is this one here you see how it is clear reaches a certain point that very bottom if i had this backlit you could see that there is a prism at the very bottom of this cartridge and ink is above that prism nothing happens the chip is counting down in increments. Once there is no more ink here and that prism has been exposed to air, it will trigger the low setting or the low warning. The low warning tells you that, okay, at this point, if you are not refilling, say using only OEM cartridges, you only have a few more prints to go before the cart reaches empty. At that point, when that low warning is triggered, meaning there's no more ink here, okay, here, it begins to count down to empty. That'll happen quite quickly. Now, some printers will actually prevent you from printing a certain size print if it thinks you do not have enough ink left. The Pro 100 has this option and they introduced this option because people demanded it. And it was really a ridiculous demand. They wanted to print beyond empty. Why would you want to do that? It will actually harm your printhead because if it reaches empty, it gives you the option to continue to print. But it gives you a nice warning telling you that if you do so, you may finish the print. Yeah, there might be just enough ink left in that sponge. But there's also a very good chance that the sponge will run out of ink and the printhead resistor for that channel will overheat and that channel will be ruined, to put it bluntly. But that's what happens with thermal printheads. So will the printer stop midway? If you have already printed something and you're in the process of it coming out of the printer and for some reason the printer driver permitted you to begin that print job even though there was a possibility of you running out of ink, it will just stop. At that point, you remove the cartridge, you pop a new one in, and it will continue to print. But don't be tempted to print that continue to print now because I want to get the last little droplet of ink out of that sponge. The sponge is designed to hold just so much ink after the chip is declared empty. That is insurance that there's still enough ink. Don't look at it as wasted ink. 
look at it as insurance ink. That ink will keep that channel for that particular color cart from overheating. Please, folks, don't take the chance by clicking that option to continue printing. It offers it to you, but don't do it. Take that cartridge out and pop a new one in. We're talking about OEM use only. If you are refilling, and the majority of people today are using the refilling kits from Precision Colors. What do I always preach, folks? As soon as this goes low, in other words, reaches the bottom, before this side starts to lose or be depleted of ink, remove it, reset it, top it off, pop it back into the printer. You can do that in a matter of about 45 seconds, not problems. If you have two sets of cartridges, like I always recommend you do, as soon as one card goes low, remove the complete set, put it aside, put the freshly filled and reset set back in, and you are good to go. Continue printing. Now, why do you want to do that? Again, I'm going to just hammer, hammer, hammer this until everybody gets it. The problem is that everybody doesn't watch this video or all of my previous videos. New people are coming in and they're asking the same, 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 same questions. So one car goes slow, remove the complete set, put a new set in. You want to do that to reduce the number of individual ink purges. The ink purges are sucking ink out of all eight cartridges. Not just the one you replaced, not just the one that was low, all of them. Even though the Pro 100 has a divided purge pad, when it is doing that ink purge, it sucks ink out of every single channel. Universal. So that is it. If you replace one card at a time, like you have to do initially, it's going to run single purge cycles every time you replace a single cartridge. From the point on that you are able to collect and prepare two full sets, you'll be changing cartridges or sets of cartridges maybe once a month or two, depending on your printing habits and your printing volume. Otherwise, you'll be replacing a single cart every time one goes low, and as soon as it does that print, purge, or ink purge, another cart is low. And you replace that one, and another one that was almost low, now it's low. And it's a domino effect. It's a big snowball. You're constantly, every other day or so, replacing cartridges. And every time you do that, it's another ink purge. Where does that ink go? Into the waste ink pads. You do not want to increase the speed by which those pads become saturated because the printer stops working. Now you might say, well, what the heck? It's a $50 printer net. I'll just get me another one. Yeah, I find that very wasteful. It's a great piece of hardware. Why would you want to do that? You know, think of it the other way. Think of it as if you had paid retail for it. And then you will then begin to think a little bit differently. And uh, that will not uh, prompt you into just thinking of this printer as a piece of waste that can go to the uh, landfill or the recyclers. So that is it. Yes, the printer will stop, replace it, and it will continue to print seamlessly without any problems. Or the printer will tell you, nope, I don't have enough ink to proceed with that particular size print you want me to produce. You replace the cartridge with a new one and continue printing. Or it will allow you to print even if it's empty, quote unquote, but that is not recommended that you do that because you can take a very, it's Russian roulette basically You're with that print hit. You're taking a huge chance that you will burn it out and the print hit will cost you more than you probably paid uh, net for that printer anyway. So don't do that. All right, that is it. I hope you um, got a little bit of uh, information. I hope this this, these videos should go viral so that everybody out there can immediately recognize the dangers, the pros and cons of the cartridge practice or cartridge change best practices, I guess you can call it, for these printers. You get a lot more life out of the printer itself. You get a lot more life out of the printhead and not have to worry about ever losing a channel due to overheating caused by a cartridge that you allow to go empty and then press that continue to print button. Don't do that. All right, so we are going to have our live cast or live stream Saturday evening, six o'clock, don't forget, be there. 
and uh, I have lots of new information to give you guys. We'll have questions and answers. I'm going to go through the uh, Facebook questions that have been discussed, and I haven't had a chance to really participate too much. So we'll discuss that. So there's a lot of good stuff out there that has to be brought up. All kinds of silly questions constantly being asked on the forums, and I'm going to go ahead and address some of those for you guys. Again, so you, if you are there, the handful of you that come in, you will leave with some valuable, valuable information, I hope. Don't forget Super Chat. This month has been just dismal, 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 dismal. My lighting and the use of all of my printers cost more than what I have earned on the channel using the regular income through uh, YouTube. I want to quickly show you another gorgeous print that I got out of the Pro 100. Check that out. Again, this is with that new profile that I created. Let me put it closer. And this is semi-gloss. I'll be making a profile for luster. I'll be making a profile for platinum gloss and a couple of the other papers that I have on hand. And then I will move on to the Pro 10. We'll produce some profiles for that. Now, if you are running the Precision Color Signature Edition plus OEM Red for the Pro 10, You'll be able to just buy the profiles directly from me because I'm running the same identical setup. Any slight differences are just going to not be noticeable whatsoever. If you prefer to use your own printer, your own ink set, your own paper, and shoot a set of these through the printer and then send them to me, then I will go ahead and produce a profile that will be specifically to your conditions. But if you want to just try one of my profiles that I'll do here, again, the results should be great. And I'll have a little price difference for you guys. It'll be included in the website that I will publish once I am completely set. That'll be next week, beginning next week. So look for that. Hope to see you all Saturday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us. If you haven't joined us yet, it's a lot of fun. I... Uh, sit there for hours sometimes talking to you guys and answering everything under the sun thank you once again don't forget to subscribe share and like and as always happy printing everyone bye bye